Welcome to the City Council meeting of for Monday, April 11th. Please join me in saluting the flag. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and, and to the Republic, Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Council Rajak. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. It's with sad news that I announce the passing of uh, one of my predecessors, Charlie Logan, who served um, Ward 7 for eight years. My deepest condolences go out to his wife, Linda, and, his, uh, and, the, and their children. Um, I would like to just take a moment of silence for someone who served in this chamber. May he rest in peace. Amen. Thank you, Council. Item number one. We have the approval of the City Council minutes of March 28, 2016. Questions on adoption of the minutes. All those in favor? Opposed? The minutes are adopted. Item number two. Governor Mark Spicer, 103 Claremont Avenue, Brockton, is a member of the Conservation Commission for a three-year term ending January 2019. Replacing Craig Pino, who resigned from the Conservation Commission. Refer to finance. Appointment of Brenda Perez, 44 Boyle Road, as a member of the Diversity Commission for a three-year term ending in April 2019. Refer to finance. We have the hearing petition of Ian Danielle for a license to solicit and canvas on behalf of Solar City, a clean energy provider. Time having arrived, I declare the hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? Please step forward and give your name to the clerk. Ian Donnell. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Uh, Council Sullivan. Uh, good evening, sir. How are you? I'm doing good, thank you. How about yourself? Good, thank you. So I just had a question relative to uh, Solar City. Yep. Um, in terms of, of the cap right now, and I know there's a pending matter in, in the State House, both on the, the House and Senate, but, but I recently sat in on a meeting with, with, um, with, with an official from Solar City, and I just wanted to make sure you could, could clarify and inform the Council. But what I was told is that you're not doing large residential properties right now. You're only doing smaller residential properties within the Commonwealth. And, and my question is specific to Brockton. Um, what I was told, the woman told me it's, it's more like the ranch styles or what we call Campanelli style houses as opposed to like large Victorian or, or, or colonial. Is that, is that correct? Is that what you're going to be soliciting? Um, more or less, it's the size of the kilowatts. Uh, we can't exceed 10 kilowatts. Yeah. As for the type of the house and the roof, as long as it's structurally, uh, structurally sound, we can install on any type. We don't do all types of roofs. Um, mostly it's just the architectural shingles. Um, but we have a site survey after I would have my, I'm the first step, so after me would be a site survey. Somebody else from Solar City would come to ensure that the roof is structurally sound and everything like that. But it, what you were talking about pertains more to just the size of the system and we okay. can't exceed 10 kilowatts. Okay, my last question, and if you could, Mr. Chair, just a little. Um, in, in terms of these installs, mm -hmm. and, and I, don't, I don't have a problem with your business practice, but I, I've spoken to some people um, uh, in public safety on the fire department side, and what I was told that, it, God forbid there was a fire at a house that had these, not just Solar City, but any of your competitors, that there could be a lag delay because firefighters wouldn't go on the roof uh, until they knew the power was cut. Um, is, is that your understanding as well? Are you, are you hearing that at all? Well, I can only speak for Solar City, and yes. I know that we abide by all fire safety guidelines and everything like that. Um, as to what actually happens once the panels are on there, that's really above me. Um, okay. I could absolutely look into that further, but we really just deal with the actual solicitation um, to line up qualifying people. homes and that sort of thing. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. Good luck. Oh, Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Too. Council Stadensky. All right, Ian, if I might inquire, are you here for a license for yourself or for a group? For myself right now, sir. For yourself. Yes. And if you, if you know, uh, along the same I think, uh, Mr. President, Pierre McClen. I, I have never met him before. Um, when I went through the process at the police station, they informed me that he was going through the same process. But to my knowledge, um, I am the only, as of right now, I'm the only Solar City representative in Brockton. And then my brother Jordan is going to be coming in front of you people um, probably about a week or so. He just has to go through um, the police station. Uh, but he will be the second. As of right now, I believe it's just me. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Barnes. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm well, thank you. So uh, just to kind of follow up on uh, my colleague's question about uh, your presence here being an independent, I guess, distributor or, um, you know, with the group. 
So this is an independent, are you an independent contractor? Is this a franchise, the Solar City, or I'm not really familiar with it. Um, I work for Solar City. We are in right now 17 or 18 states. This is for me to have the, the permit to solicit in the city. I have my state permit um, grant, granted to me from uh, Boston, mm -hmm. but this is for me to actually have permission to go door to door in the city. Um, I had one in Rochester and in Hingham, but I'm a lifelong resident of Brockton and I wanted to bring solar to the city. So I switched it from there to here, and uh, this is for me to you know, be allowed to go do that legally. Okay, so you mentioned door-to-door. Uh, -door. That was actually going to be one of my other questions. So um, will this also allow you to make calls to, to people, cold calls, uh, you know, asking people if they would be interested in your... I personally do not cold call. Um, I just knock on doors. Anybody who I would be calling would all be off of a referral base, whether it's somebody whose door I knocked on or a family member or somebody else like that. Um, the only cold calling I may be doing is I uh, want to try to bring nonprofits involved. We have what's called the Sunraiser program, and basically that's a way for nonprofits to raise money through solar energy, and I think that that's a win-win for all parties involved. So the only cold calling really I would be doing is involved with that. Um, the Brockton Public Schools is the first person that I'm going to try to reach out to to try to raise some money for the school system, um, but that's really the only calls I'll be making. Outside of that, it would just be knocking on doors, um, but no, no calls. So how would you raise the money from the people, from the installations that you get, or? So basically how it works, the Sunraiser program is the same as our ambassador program, that's the referrals. So um, hypothetically, say we were to sign up the school system and somebody was to go solar. The school would get $200 on behalf of that person going solar. That person who went solar would also get their first month free on, the, on behalf of the school system. And it's three tiered. So beyond that, then if that person who upgraded, they referred a, a family member the school would get $100, and then it trickles down to $50 from that, and that goes on to anybody who gets signed up through that program. Um, there's a high school out in California that's been able to raise, I believe, $50,000, $55,000 for the school their first year. Mm -hmm. So there is potential for a lot of money to be raised, um, but it all has to do through referrals. Once the, um, the panels go installed, I believe the payout is somewhere between 45 and 60 days, but whereas it would be a nonprofit, it would be tax-free for the school to raise and you know, do whatever they wanted with it, equipment for the football team, you know, music for the band, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and <clears throat> your specific role in this is to be kind of like a, um, like, uh, well, to be the salesman, not pretty much the installer or anything like that? Yeah, I don't do any of the installing. I, um, I go over the bill with whoever it is that I'm sitting down with, show them exactly what they would be saving, design the system. I'm basically the, the main of, the point of contact um, throughout the <coughs> situation, but I don't deal with anything from the install perspective. Okay, and um, just m my last question, uh, kind of to piggy not to piggyback, but the same kind of vein as uh, Councillor Sullivan. If there's any way you can maybe find out, because um, a constituent actually, I was talking with them recently about solar, and you know we were discussing the benefits, pros and cons of you know installing it on our homes, and there was a question about after it's installed, if someone needs to repair their roof, what happens to uh, the panels and all of those things. So I, mean, I don't, I don't know if that's something you can. No, I, I, I can, and again, this is just a solar city. Um, but once the panels are on there, um, we will, unless it's you guys that want to, you know, say hypothetically you wanted to put them on your house. Uh -huh. If you asked us to remove the panels, it would be $498. We remove them, we hold on to them and store them so that they're safe and protected. Once whatever it is you're done with is finished and you want to put them back on, it's $498 for an additional site survey, and then we put them on, it's all done in a day. If you don't need an additional site survey, I believe that second 498 is waived. I can double check on that for you though, but I believe that just pertains to an additional site survey. So if you had it to maybe change the pitch of the roof or add a second story on, something to that effect, where maybe something about the roof would be different, they might need an additional site survey to make sure that um, it's not too steep of a pitch, we can't exceed 45 degrees, for example, because of snow, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that reason, we should just uh, have to be able to put them back on. It shouldn't be an issue. Okay. And is, does this also include your office? Where will your office be? Or is it an in-home? Um, I pretty much work out of my house, I guess you could say. The office is in Fall River. I just go there for really, you know, sales meetings and that sort of thing. Um, but I really just go out to, you know wherever I would be throughout the day. Um, I look at my computer to find out what neighborhood I want to knock in for the day. Um, I was going to you know, call the police station and check in with them okay. and then just go out from there. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank Pleasure. you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Anyone else here in favor? Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Is there anyone here in opposition? Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Voters on granting of the license. All those in favor?
Opposed? License is granted. Thank you and good luck, Mr. Denell. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Item number five. Renewal petition of Golden Dream Jewelry, 365 Westgate Drive, for <coughs> secondhand precious metals and gems. Refer to public safety. The report of the Public Safety Committee for its meeting of April 4, 2016. Uh, accepted and placed on file. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of April 4, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the Real Estate Committee for its meeting of April 4, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. We have Communication from the President of Massasoit Community College regarding the renovation of the Ganley Building. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the <coughs> Chief of the Fire Department <coughs> requesting to expend a grant award in the amount of $4,000 from the Commonwealth of Mass, Department of Public Health, Fiscal 2016, Mass Decamination uh, <laughs> Unit Grant. The intended use of these funds is to man the upkeep of the Mass units and purchase supplies for the mass units. Accepted and placed on Communication file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the city solicitor requesting a transfer within the law department 2016 <coughs> ordinary maintenance budget from line item legal outside council to line item workers compensation medicals in the amount of $200,000 to supplement the original appropriation to the workers compensation medicals line item due to unanticipated claims and several workers' compensation and injured on-duty cases requiring surgeries and related costs. They accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. They accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO advising that $4,500 is available in the Finance Department Personal Services non-overtime budget based on the late hiring date of a position recently filled in his office. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Traffic Commission requesting an additional transfer of $4,500 from Finance Department, Personal Services, full-time salaries, to Traffic Commission, Public Safety, OM Services, to fund an engineering study for the intersection of Forest Avenue and Bouvet Avenue. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative <coughs> to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Chief of Police requesting authorization to expend grant monies related to the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Highway Safety Division, 2016, Sustained Enforcement, STEP Grant Program, in the amount of $75,000. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Operations Commander requesting for authorization to expend grant monies related to the Executive Office of Public Safety and Securities, Fiscal 16, Senator Charles E. Shannon, CSI Local Action Research Partner Grant, in the amount of $46,600. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws Chapter 44, rem recommending that the city council authorizes the appropriation of grant award in the amount of 20000 authorized under Chapter 46 of the Acts of 2015, Section 2, Item 1599-0026 from Department of Revenue for local services on behalf of the Executive Office of Administration and Finance, development of formal financial policies grant to the Brockton Finance Department, development of formal financial policies grant fund. These funds will be used for the development of recommendations of a formal set of financial policies. There is no required match for the city. Accepted and placed on file. Indication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. The petition of Pierre McLean for a license to solicit on the canvas on behalf of Solar City, a clean energy provider, in Council March 28, 2016. Council Stadensky motion to postpone the hearing until the next City Council meeting was properly seconded. The motion carried by a hand vote. Move to place this item on down the table. Second. Motion made and seconded to table this item. All those in favor? Opposed? Item is tabled. Petition of Stephen P. Tatara for an awning permit located at Courthouse Cafe, 74 West Elm Street, Brockton, for an awning uh, permit 
and Council March 14, 2016. Ready to refer to Committee of Safety. The report is uh, favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Manary. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Sedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. Appointment of Wayne A. Lake, 56 Short Street, Brockton, is the constable of the city of Brockton for a term of three years, and the council March 28, 2016. Refer to the Committee on Finance. I report as favorable. Question is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Bogart. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Sedinsky. Yes. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The appointment is confirmed. Order that the authority for the mayor to lease certain land to the Brockton 21st Century Corporation for Economic Development purposes included but not limited to construction of a baseball stadium, conference center facility, upon such terms or conditions as the mayor shall determine to be in the best interest of the city, as authorized by order of the city council dated November 13, 2001, be and is hereby rescinded, accepting that the existing lease agreement between the city and the Brockton 21st Century Corporation shall remain effective for any remaining term. And Council March 28, 2016, referred to the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. 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 Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. Transfer of $455,753.33 from vacant and abandoned buildings registry account to demolition revolving account. And Council March 28, 2016, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. 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 Rodriguez. Yes. Sedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. Transfer $15,100 from animal control full time salaries to animal control overtime $10,000 and animal control department equipment $5,100. And Council March 28, 2016, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Sinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Transfer of ten thousand dollars from Treasurer Purchase of Services Security Fire Control, three thousand dollars. Treasure Goods and Supplies Registry of Deeds, seven thousand dollars. To Treasurer's Personnel Services Overtime and Council March 28, 2016. Ready to refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Sedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. Order <coughs> pursuant to the Mass General Laws, Chapter 60, Section 15B. City Council accepts the Mass General Laws, Chapter 60, Section 15B, and also that the City Council authorizes a tax title collection revolving fund for fiscal 2017 to be capped at $100,000, and the balance at the end of each fiscal year to be transferred to the General Fund, and Council March 28, 2016. That report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Sedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. Appropriation of $45,000 from the Stabilization Fund to Information Technology Department Capital to provide funding for expanded services to City Hall phone system. The cost of this upgrade would include a customer service audio recording system, labor and miscellaneous wiring. In Council March 28, 2016, ready to refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Sedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. 
The order is adopted. Appropriation for $125,000, $692 from Executive Office of Public Safety and Securities, Fiscal 16, Charles E. Shannon, Community Safety Initiative Grant, to Brockton Police Department, Fiscal 16, Senator Charles E. Shannon, Community Safety Initiative Grant Fund, and Council March 28, 2016, for the Committee on Finance, our report is favorable. Question is on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Harwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Kedinsky. Yes. 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 The order is adopted. Appropriation of one hundred eighteen thousand two hundred forty-six dollars from the U.S. Department of Justice, Fiscal Fifteen Justice Assistant Grant to the Brockton Police Department, U.S. Department of Justice, Fiscal Fifteen Justice Assistance. Grant Fund and Council March 28, 2016. Regular for the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Hazak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. yes. Sullivan. Yes. <laughs> The order is adopted. Appropriation of $142,947 from the Executive Office of Elder Affairs Grant, $142,947 to Brockton Council and AG, Executive Office of Elder Affairs Grant Fund, in Council March 28, 2016. Ready for the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will clerk please call the roll? Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. 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 Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. The order is adopted. An appropriation of forty-five thousand dollars from fiscal 2016, Mass Department of Public Health, the locks of grant to Brockton Police Department, fiscal 2060, Massachusetts Department of Public Health, the locks and grant fund in council March 28, 2016. Ready for the committee on finance. Our report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Lebanon, the order is adopted. Appropriation of $2,200 from Commonwealth of Mass Emergency Management Agency, fiscal 15 16, HMEP grant to BEMA. HMEP Grant Fund and Council March 28, 2016. Ready for the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. Resolved to have members of One Smile Brockton Coalition come before a committee of the Brockton City Council to discuss the efforts and accomplishments of the coalition with regards to the introduction of a water fluoridation program in the city of Brockton in Council March 28, 2016. Ready to refer the committee on finance. Our report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. The order is adopted. The resolve is adopted. <clears throat> resolved that the Commission of the City's Department of Public Works and the Executive Director of the Old Colony Planning Council by his designee be invited to appear before a committee of the City Council to discuss options and recommendations to be forwarded in a report to the Massachusetts Department of Transportation for improvements designed to enhance the safety of the public and the orderly flow of vehicles in this area of the city. In Council, March 28, 2016, ready to refer the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Would the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Valley. Yes. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The resolve is adopted. The resolve of Yuval Silvera of his designee be invited to appear before a committee of the City Council to update council members on the Code Connect program, whose mission is to expose and teach kids age 8 to 13 years old computer programming or coding for short in the community. <clears throat> in Council March 28, 2016, ready to refer the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. 
We were busy last week. The order is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annery. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Kudinsky. Yes. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The resolve is adopted. Order that the mayor is hereby authorized to grant on behalf of the city of Brockton, grant a right of way over land here and after set for, for the following landholders, the successor and signs pertinent to the parcels shown on assessor's map number 74 and 76 in council March 14, 2016, uh, ready to refer the committee on uh, real estate. That report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Would the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Kudinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Mr. The President. The order is adopted. Councilor Rianieri. Mr. President, I'd like to move for reconsideration in hopes it does not prevail. Second. 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 Motion has been made and seconded on reconsideration in hopes it does not prevail. All those in favor of reconsideration. All those opposed. Reconsideration fails. Ordered in compliance with the provisions of the election laws, notice is hereby given that the state primary will be held on Thursday, September 8, 2016. Referred to finance. Ordered in compliance with the provisions of the election laws, notice is hereby given that the state election will be held on Tuesday, November 8, 2016. Referred to finance. Appropriation of $4,000 from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, Department of Public Health, Fiscal 2016, Mask Decontamination, Unit Grant to Brockton Fire Department 2016 Mass Decontamination Unit Grant Fund. We're going to have to change the name of those units. I know. I have to Refer to finance. <laughs> An appropriation of $20,000 authorized under Chapter 46 of the Acts of 2015, Section 2, Item 1599-0026 from the Department of Revenue for Local Services on behalf of the Executive Office for Administration and Finance, Development of Formal Financial Policies Grant to the Brockton Finance Department, Development of Formal Financial Policies Grant Fund. Referred to finance. Appropriation of $46,000 for the fiscal 60 Charles E. Shannon CSI Local Action Research Partner Grant to the Brockton Police Department, fiscal 16 Charles Senator Charles E. Shannon, CSI Local Action Research Partner Grant Fund. Refer to finance. An appropriation of $75,000 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Highway Safety Dis Division, Physical 16 Sustained Enforcement Step Grant to Brockton Police Department, Physical 16 Sustained Enforcement Step Grant Fund. Refer to finance. <clears throat> A transfer of $200,000 from the Law Department of Ordinary Maintenance to Law Department of Workers' Compensation. Refer to finance. Transfer of $4,500 from Financial Department Personal Services full-time salaries to Traffic Commission Public Safety Ordinary Maintenance Services. Refer to finance. Resolved that Mr. Steve Bernard Brockton, resident and Brockton NAACP official appear before the City Council's Finance Committee to inform and update the members relative to ongoing efforts within our community pertaining to Power Street Cancer, Awareness, Education, and Associated Testing Practices and Procedures. Refer to finance. Resolved to have Gary Leonard, B21, Mike Gallerani, and Robert Jenkins, Brockton Redevelopment Authority to explain the role of Main Street Management. Refer to finance. A manager. Resolved that Mrs. Janice Fitzgerald, Executive Director of the Brockton Council on Aging, appear before the Finance Committee to provide a status update on the COA and discuss all efforts to prepare for the aging process. I refer to finance. Resolved that Michelle M. Carroll, Executive Director of Plymouth 400, and Sheila Fay, Project Coordinator of Plymouth 400, be invited to appear before a committee of the City Council members on Plymouth 400, Massachusetts, 1620 2020, an American story, a national legacy. Refer to finance. Resolved that the City Council of the City of Brockton hereby request the fiscal 17, Chapter 70 budget funding for low income students be revised so that the communities whose districts educate the vast majority of low income or economically disadvantaged students are adequately assisted in accomplishing this objective. Refer to finance. Councillor Ianieri. Thank you, Mr. Mr. President. As I announced a few weeks back, the Accounts Committee was going to meet on uh, 
Tuesday evening, April the 19th, but our guests that we have invited are unable to attend that meeting, so I'm gonna move the meeting to Monday, May 2nd at 6.15 p.m. So that's the Accounts Committee meeting will be held on Monday, May 2nd at 6.15 p.m. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Councilor Razak. I'd like to remind everybody that this Saturday is Keep Rockton Beautiful. It's um, April 16th. So these are the t-shirts that we're giving out for everybody that comes out this Saturday. We're meeting at Heights Crossing. Registration starts at 8 o'clock. It's from 8 to 9 a.m. You can register um, there and you will get a location of where you, uh, you'd like to go out and clean. And then um, we can come back and have a cookout and celebrate together to keep Brockton beautiful at Heights Crossing, which is located at 27 Christie's Place. So I hope to see everybody this Saturday, um, Saturday morning. Hopefully we have great weather and we can all work together to clean up our city because if you've noticed lately, we, there's a lot of trash blowing around, so we need a lot of help. So I hope to see everybody out there. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Councilor Sullivan. Mr. President, a moment of personal privilege. You may. If I could, councils, uh, myself and my uh, three colleagues uh, at large, uh, Bonds, Rodriguez, and Farwell, we have uh, set a date for the uh, second quarterly citywide council at large meeting. Uh, and I don't want to make, I want to make sure we give it early so it doesn't conflict with any ward meetings. Uh, it's going to be May 19th, which is a Thursday evening. It's going to be at South Middle School Cafeteria. 6.15 to 8.15 p.m. Again, May 19th, which is a Thursday night, 6.15 to 8.15. And I also would like to uh, congratulate uh, a Ward 2 resident who gave birth to me many years ago. My mother, who celebrated a very special birthday yesterday. Mom, happy birthday. Very good. <laughs> and happy and birthday to you, Mom, on behalf of the council. Very smart. Anybody else? Just a reminder that next week uh, there is a holiday on Monday, so finance will be at 7 o'clock Tuesday night, April 19th. Mm -hmm. uh, seeing no other business, we're adjourned. <laughs>